Hello everyone, this is Sheila. Are you looking for the ultimate solution to the ever-persistent problem of succulents dying due to overwatering? Then this video is for you. So let's proceed. Before I share with you how you can make your DIY moisture meter stick that's super easy to make, here's key point number one, which is moisture, moisture, and moisture. As long as there is moisture in the soil, don't water at all. Let me show you how this DIY succulent moisture meter works. Please take note, it's DIY, so you can make some at home. And again, I'll definitely share how you can make these in a bit. And I promise you too that it's so simple to make. So let me show you how I use it. So we just need to insert these sticks into the soil and leave it for about two to five minutes. If you want to get samples from other sides of your planter, you can always insert more and this leads me to key point number two, which is to make sure to put one within the root area. This is important because the soil within the root area is always the last one to dry because it is the area that's more dense. Key point number three, please make sure to get a sample from the side of the pot that is closest to the fence or a big tree or another plant because that side of the pot or planter dry really slow. Here's a very good example of this because there is another plant here, this side of the planter is always likely to still have moisture. And key point number four, if this stick comes out darker and cool to the touch, it is simply not time to water. Please take note that it's the back of the hand that's more sensitive to temperature, that's why I'm doing this. Key point number five, if in case your sample shows moisture, simply allow this stick to air dry and check your soil again a day or two after. Let me ask you this question. How many succulents have you accidentally killed? Have you lost count? I've had my share of tears, so you're not alone. In fact, let me show you my vision board. One of my vision is to deliver value in everything that I do. And this is how I was able to come up with this solution, because I heard that some of you guys don't have access to this kind of moisture meter, so I had to come up with this DIY moisture meter stick. I also have a link to this kind of moisture meter in the description below in case you want to check it out. And as promised, here's how to make your DIY succulent moisture meter stick, which is the ultimate solution and the best way to stop you from watering your succulents too soon and accidentally killing them. I decided to use fancy colored printer paper for better presentation, but you can actually use any kind of paper that absorbs water and moisture like these ones. For the sticks, you can use wooden dowels or chopsticks or anything similar that you can find. And of course, glue and scissors. Next, simply cut a strip of paper, apply glue on the stick, and start wrapping the paper around like so. And that's it! You now have your DIY moisture meter stick. Use these and you will never ever go wrong with watering your succulents too soon by following the key points that I mentioned earlier. By the way, you might have noticed that I have shown a snake plant earlier, so might as well mention that my next video is all about how to repot a snake plant and how to propagate them. So remember to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you won't miss it. And as always, my message for you today is that anger is like picking up a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. Think peace and love, not anger and hatred. Thank you, this is Sheila again, your person on a mission for succulent fame. Sending inspirations your way with every succulent. Remember to subscribe and share this video.